Hey guys, it's Dr. Sharun here, and welcome to our channel, which is called Need Buddy, where we bring daily biology MCQs for you, so that before the upcoming NEET exam, you will have a good practice and a good speed, so that NEET exam you will easily crack. And that's what we are going to do today. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we is a derivative of carotenoid indol 3 acetic acid gibberellic acid abscisic acid indol butyric acid derivative of carotenoid correct answer is option c abscisic acid is a derivative of carotenoids question number 44 which of the following properties is shown by cytokinins delay leaf senescence cause leaf abscission promote seed dormancy promote stomatal closing which of the following property is shown by cytokinin the correct answer is option a it delays leaf senescence question number 61 when pollen tube enters through micropyle the process is called as porogamy chalazogamy mesogamy epogamy entry of pollen tube through the micropyle is called as the correct answer is option a porogamy question number 4 main objective of production or use of herbicide resistant gm crops is to reduce herbicide accumulation in food articles for health safety eliminate weeds from the field without use of manual labor eliminate weeds from the field without use of herbicides encourage eco friendly herbicides the correct answer is option 2 to, to eliminate weeds from the field without use of manual labor now the point to understand here is what does herbicide resistant gm crop means herbicide resistant gm crops means that the crop that you will cultivate now would be resistant to herbicides however the weeds that would grow over there won't be resistant to herbicide so now if you spray herbicide in your field entire field your crops being resistant to herbicide won't get affected but the weeds will get eliminated earlier what used to happen the herbicides used to damage the crop as well hence the weeds needed to be removed manually now with the occurrence of the resistant gm crops now once we have developed the resistant gm crops we can use herbicide which are not affecting the gm crop since the gm crop is resistant to the herbicide but the, at the same time the weeds get eliminated because they are not resistant to herbicide question number 38 urea synthesis occurs in kidney liver brain or muscles correct answer is option b it occurs in liver question number 40 which is common to kidney and skeleton in mammals cortex medulla pelvis or radius the correct answer is option c pelvis is common to kidney and skeleton if you cut through the section of a kidney and see the various medullary pyramids together form the pelvis right pelvis of kidney now in the skeleton of the mammals when two bone hip bones join they form the pelvic girdle it is a pelvis bone so pelvis is a term which is common to both kidney as well as skeleton question number 33 a transgenic food crop which may help in solving the problem of night blindness in developing countries is flower saver tomatoes starling maize bt soya bean golden rice correct answer is option b golden rice because golden rice contains vitamin a and night blindness is caused by deficiency of vitamin a question number 74 synapses occurs between mrna and ribosomes spindle fibers and centromere two homologous chromosomes a male and female gamete synapses occurs between correct answer is option 3 that is two homologous chromosomes question number 5 the cell junctions called tight adhering and gap junctions are found in connective tissue epithelial tissue neural tissue muscular tissue 
cell junctions are found in correct answer is option b that is epithelial tissue question number 33 ovary is half inferior in flowers of guava plum brinjal cucumber half inferior ovary is seen in the flowers of correct answer is option b plum question number 66 earthworm has no skeleton but during burrowing the anterior end becomes turgid and acts as a hydraulic skeleton it is due to setae selenic fluid blood or gut peristalsis the correct answer is option b selenic fluid question number 63 dna or rna segment tagged with a radioactive molecule is called as vector probe clone or plasmid the correct answer is option b probe question number 82 the transformation experiment in pneumococcus proves that dna replicates itself dna is the genetic material rna is the genetic material dna is double stranded transformation experiment in pneumococcus proves that the correct answer is option b it proves that the dna is the genetic material question number 89 Which of the following cross will produce terminal flowers in a garden pea? The crosses are given in the options. The correct answer is option C, capital A small a, capital A small a. Question number fourteen: The Bengal tiger. If the Bengal tiger becomes extinct, hyenas and wolves will become scarce. its gene pool will be lost forever the wild areas will be safe for the man and domestic the population of beautiful animals like deer will get stabilized the correct answer is option b if the bengal tiger becomes extinct its gene pool will be lost forever so those are the mcqs for today i'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of mcqs till then All the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.